in the immortal words of a Mr. Justin Timberlake, I'm bringing seller closing costs back or sexy back. Yes, we're going to sexualize seller net costs right now. Hello, I am Anantioris. Yes, the relationship realtor, cultivating relationships, not transactions. For today, a gloomy day actually outside, just waiting for the weather to get a little warmer. We're talking about the very sexy seller costs. The first thing you need to do, folks, when you're thinking about putting your place on the market, selling your home, you need to understand all the elements of selling your home. And so this is what I'm going to talk about today. Okay, it's kind of overlooked. That's why I'm trying to bring the sexy back to it. Okay, okay, that's the last time I'll say sex, sex, sex. Um, first, costs to know your owner's title. You have to, in the state of Illinois, as part of a purchase agreement, you must bring free and clear title to the closing table and present to the buyer before there can be a transfer of property from the seller to the buyer. So basically, you are insured and the costs associated with it, with the title insurance, you're insured to ensure that no one else, there are no other holders that can make a claim on the property. You are the only owner, or if it's in a trust, multiple people. So that's, that's cost number one. Typically it's based upon the ultimate purchase price. So it varies, it can be as little as 1500, and can go up to four, five, six thousand dollars again, depending on the purchase price. Okay, so that's cost number one. Cost number two, transfer taxes. Hey man, the city, the county, and the state, they gotta get theirs. So in total, in the city of Chicago, you will be paying four dollars and fifty cents per every one thousand of purchase price in order to pay the transfer tax that is from the seller to the buyer. The good news is the buyer has to pay $7.50, okay? So that's the one saving grace, you get $3 less. Number three, proration. Now, you have a liability, of course, you still owe, on the day of the closing, all associated real estate taxes up to the day of closing. So your attorney will calculate a proration all the way up to any taxes you owe it all the way through the closing and that will be presented to the buyer on the settlement statement as a credit to the buyer okay so that's number three number four everyone's favorite commission you need to pay my commission and more specifically you need to pay my broker's commission okay that can vary it really all depends on that's why it's really important when you're evaluating and if I'm in your home and I'm, um, I'm looking at uh, your property, you need to know the condition that really factors in with ultimately the, the, the commission. But for the sake of this video, anywhere from five to 8% will be associated with commission, okay? And then finally, attorney fees, it's very important. You're dealing with the legal contract people. Attorney fees, which is paid at closing, can be anywhere from $400 up to $800. My attorney par partners typically charge somewhere between five and $600. So those are four costs associated with your selling costs. Now, I'm more than happy to provide you with an assessment. I'll actually calculate, as long as you give me your loan balance, I can offer a suggested listed price and input those costs to derive what an estimated net proceeds you would be at closing if you decide to move forward and sell. Happy to offer you that, no obligation at all. Contact information is somewhere around here or it'll be in the YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on seller costs, what they specifically are. There are also some title fees that can range anywhere from you know, 10, 15, $30 for like wire fees and um, and such from the title company up to maybe a couple hundred, but your attorney will be able to more intelligently give you those specific costs depending on what title company is chosen. Okay. Any questions you can reach out to me on that until next time, folks have a great day.